Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. We're reading for the third week of November. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I only ask one tiny favor. If you like the content and it resonates with you, hit that like button down below. Um, also, I just went hiking at this mountain. So being in nature all day yesterday really amped up my, uh, my energy. I did so many private videos last week. It was crazy. So I just felt like my, my energy was zapped and being out in nature kind of feels like, um, I got myself put back together again. <laughs> um, okay. And now I'm fresh off the mountain. So let's see what your video and your reading has to say. Okay. One more card and we can start your reading. Thank you. Why am I seeing this? What's this pain about? Justice, something legal, law, um, walking away from something, being single, getting into your own power, taking a leap of faith here, chasing your dreams, you. Okay. And the chariot, seven of pentacles. Okay. So the swords. All right. So you were dealing with something or someone in the past that you might have had a reconciliation with somebody or you thought about having a reconciliation with somebody, Taurus, and you were torn. Um, and it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a job. It could be a situation. Uh, it could be with anybody. It could be with family members. But there was something that was toxic in your recent past. Um, whether this person betrayed you, whether it was a colleague, a lover, a, a suitor, anybody. And you were torn because they wanted to make amends with you. You just felt like you couldn't deal with the shadiness, the sneakiness, the lying. So you stopped investing into the situation. A lot of you did have a reconciliation. Um, and this is after the reconciliation. Um, again, like I said, career, job, or whatever, you just stopped investing in that situation. And you decided to ride away on your own little motorcycle and you remain positive and focused on yourself do not get me wrong you did keep an eye on the situation and the person for a while for a little while um but you you you, you were steadfast into who you are because you are stable you are stability and you're like look i'm loving i'm loyal i'm kind i'm generous but there's only so much I can tolerate because it's it's my morality you're dealing with. It's it's my values. It's my legacy. And you fucked with it. <laughs> and you just were like not okay with it. So you decided to probably uh, make yourself available to other opportunities. You started chasing your dreams in regards to something else. Um, you took a leap of faith on you your stability because you know you're loving nurturing and caring and kind so you took a, a leap of faith on, on yourself and maybe you you're like fuck this i'm gonna work on my independence and you walked away from these toxic people situations whatever it is and now the universe sees this some of you could be, have been dealing with the law um or something legal and you walked to, and after you walked away this happened some kind of legal thing happened Others of you, this is the universe uh, setting karma right. And although this might have hurt you to do it, you probably thought it was fair, just, and honest. But there is pain here, without a doubt. Your situation, Taurus, you're getting communication from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that either you let them go or they let you go. That's the situation I see here. I mean, that's who I'm reading for. If this doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Let's go on, Taurus. What is coming towards you? A lot of you know what this is, this Ace of Cups. There's an emotional new opportunity. The, the, this isn't like basic. This isn't, hey, what's up? <laughs> this is like, hey, I love you. What you don't see coming are the challenges, are the blocks, are the obstacles, the feeling stuck, the competition with this lover. But, you know, so maybe some of you are dealing with um, a Pisces, a Gemini, or another Taurus like yourself. But 
That's not what I'm vibing here. This is you. First of all, the magician is here. You have manifested this lover. A lot of you probably wanted a reconciliation. And then when it came back towards you, you're like, I don't know if I want it anymore. Or you find yourself challenged or blocked. Others of you, th th this is you manifesting this lover back into your life. Because this is your card also. You know, but th what's the competition here? Usually it's a friendly competition, though. This is like challenging, but it's good because you're communicating with your person, you know, but there's something here where it's getting you both stuck. That's what you don't see coming. Your advice. You might have to hang back. You might have to wait because this is talking about your ships coming in, waiting for someone or something, but in your advice position, it's saying you might have to wait a little bit for you to either see where this is going or move on and wait for something else to come dock at your port. Uh, we're going to clarify and we're going to see what that's all about. In your outcome, everything is fine in reverse. It's like you're worried. It, it's like as if you're saying to yourself, it's over, but it's not over. So this is something that you might have had an ending with somebody in the past. And it's like, Again, like this reconciliation that we're talking about, because you have this, everything is fine in reverse. It's like somebody's trying to ignore this, this, this closure, this ending, this, um, it's like an elephant in the room that you're not discussing. Someone's completely ignoring it. So I don't know if somebody needs to end this or you need closure in this, or you need to discuss what had happened in the past. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. A little better, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, sorry. Okay, four of pentacles in reverse, what is it? Somebody's holding on, somebody, um, I mean letting go, the opposite. Four of pentacles in reverse, fire sign. Doesn't have to be somebody passionate, entrepreneur, business. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, communication. So this is about letting go, and someone here has let go. This is too much. There we go. Someone doesn't like that somebody let someone go here. Yeah. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be. All right. So this Eight of Wands and this King of Wands and this Four of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the Ace of Swords. Somebody coming here and communicating with you. They want a fresh new start with you. With truth, honesty, and clarity, they want to clear the air. They, either you or they have been stalking you and they realized or they started feeling like you let go, Taurus, um, and they came in to offer you something small and tangible. For you, it was too small. It was like, but I think they were scared. They might have been intimidated by you because you could be a force when you put your foot down. You're like, it's fucking over. What did you think? I was going to roll out the red carpet for you. Hello. Who do you think I am? I'm Taurus. No, I. <laughs> Libra. It doesn't have to be Libra. Um, justice is here. Again. Again, it could be something legal, law, whatever. But it can also, and by the way, it falls on your behalf. Um, but this could be talking about trying to be fair, honest, and balanced, and just. So that's the situation. So, and yeah, you're you're feeling stuck when this happens to you with this communication. You know, because this person did hurt you in the past. You were connected and then they did end it. Like, oh, you wanted to go find yourself, really? I don't know. I'm saying this is like kind of what they did to you when they left and they came back. What is this Ace of Cups here? Is this new or is this the same person? What is this Ace of Cups, please? Talk about new beginnings. 
Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The devil under that. Guys, you are facing something toxic in your life, in your world, and it needs to be communicated. And this is the only way you're going to get past it. So this Ace of Cups that's coming towards you, this emotional new beginning, you know, a lot of you guys, don't tell me you're not holding on to something from the past because you are. And if this isn't you, yes, it could be your person clinging on. Um, it could be an Aries also. But the fool here is telling me you're taking a leap of faith towards this. Uh, receiving this message of emotion. Um, and this person could very well be like, look, I, we had a lot of burdens. We had a lot of responsibilities. We had a lot of issues. We need to drop this. We need to drop with what was burdening or making the, the relationship or the situation heavy. You know, and this person wants to find stability with you. This is, this is different for all you Taurus out there, but this is somebody seeking stability. Somebody's going to offer you in this third week of November, uh, an emotional new beginning and, uh, like a committed relationship or a foundation. It could even be a job. Um, but this is a situation where it's, it's going to lighten your load, meaning like somebody who's going to help you carry responsibilities or issues. I mean, like, look, I want to lighten your load message of emotion. I want to take a leap of faith towards this new beginning. I never really let you go. That's what I see. What is this hangman, the five of wands, the magician, and the lovers, please? Why do they feel stuck? Jesus, talk about like popping out right away. Hmm. Judgment and the moon. Okay. So judgment, um, Judgment isn't a new person. I never get judgment when you're dealing with somebody new because lovers could tend to talk about somebody new-ish or brand new. Uh, but this could be like, you know, lovers is a choice. I It's not like the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, which is in the minor arcana, you both decide that you're soulmates and you both want a connection and you both want to be partners. Lovers is divinely guided to you. The universe, so it is above is below here on earth in your 3d realm the universe decided to put you with this person whether they're your twin flame your karmic um your soulmate or your person they're here for a reason sometimes one of you recognizes who you are while the other doesn't so you sometimes might have a runner chaser dynamic which is what it looks like here and so the universe is like you know at the end of the day you still have free will what do you decide and this is why you're getting a judgment call right now. You're needing to make a judgment call regarding off of things that you might not even know where it's going or where it's heading. So it's like saying blind faith. You need to make a blind faith on this relationship. And that's why you feel stuck when this comes towards you. Because there are some blocks. There are some obstacles. There are some challenges. What relationship doesn't have those? You know, even though here you are manifesting this. The bottom of the deck. Can I tell you what's at the bottom of the deck? Ten of Cups. Duality. I always, the tens is you and them. Wheel of Fortune. Temperance. Archangel Michael thinks now is the right time, the right place to make this big change in your life so you both could be happy. But there's something here that needs to be dealt with. What the heck is this Three of Wands? Maybe it's telling you just to wait and see what happens. What is this three of wands? Please leave me your comments, guys. I read everything. And your shares and your likes and your subscribes all help the channel. And thank you for those who are already subscribers. I feel honored and blessed by your support, guys. Okay, so the three of wands is clarified by the seven of wands. Defend, you're defensive. Uh, Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles, and here you are, the Queen of. That's what I love about Taurus. You guys are badasses. You always know your worth, regardless of the pain, tribes, and tribulations you guys always go through. You don't give a fuck. You know your your standards are there, and you never compromise, which I find so amazing in Taurus. Um, but here you are, standing in your powers, being home base. Um, but this is all falling in your advice, saying. Stay there. Stay in your energy field. Stay home base. 
you might have to juggle a situation out for a, a, the time being uh, in order for you to understand this new emotional beginning. Um, but I do see you being a little defensive or somebody's very defensive in this situation. That's These are clarifying why you might need to hang back in your advice position. So they're saying hang back. You know, you are getting this emotional new beginning. You might need to juggle the situation for the for a time being. And yeah, maybe you might have to step up and open your mouth and say, look, you freaking hurt me. I don't think I, I don't know if I can either A, continue with this relationship because of what you did to me, or B, if I do continue this relationship with you, you're going to have to do a lot of work here and show me how much you care, how much this relationship means to you. At the at bottom of the deck, exactly what I just said, eight of pentacles, you're going to have to fucking show me how much you're willing to work towards this situation. Yeah, the nine of uh, wands in reverse, you have to be emotional, vulnerable, and available to me. Interesting. What is this everything is fine at the bottom of the, um, what is everything is fine, please, in the outcome? Sorry, I'm always hearing a buzzing. Then it just stopped. What is everything is fine in reverse, please? Some of you, you might have been, if some of you are married and you're going through like a bit of a crisis right now, it's, it's going to be okay. You're going to get through this, um, obstacle, this, whatever shit you're going through right now, Taurus, everything will be okay. It's going to be fine. Um, yeah, look at this at the bottom of the deck, communicating the guilt, the sorrow from the past, the cheating, the ghosting, the, 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 the fuckery, you know, and there was a moment in time where there is going to be healing or there was healing from this pain. You guys are still dealing with somebody. You're still in this like mess of a thing. So in your third week of November, you, your everything is fine is for those of you where this is business related, this is talking about money on your home. Your financial status is going to be okay. You are receiving that communication. Something might've like hurt you in the past. It, everything is fine. Everything's going to be okay business or home related with money others of you this is your marriage is going to be fine it's going to get mended other and those of you that are single dealing with somebody that you might or might not be having this on off reconciliation situation it's you're you're seeking this you're seeking money on your home stability marriage you want to settle down it's this person wants the same thing as you do but you're not sure um, but yeah, they do. If you're asking that, because that's what it's being clarified by. Universe, angel, spirit, gods, what do you have for Taurus? Jesus, I always say like Virgo in your reading or some other sign. I don't know what I say, but what's going on with Taurus? Some of you were going to get a divorce or are getting a divorce and you're moving on, you'll be fine. Cause I do still, still see the law here worth waiting for. I know what this means. This means hang in there from your advice position. You need to hang back and wait. It's worth waiting for. Let your friends help you. Separation is under that. Some of you were in separation mode for a while. Healing family issues. Yeah, some of you might have had like a toxic family member and you needed to deal with that. And it was like a problem. You might have separated from them. Because um, I do see some family separation here. And it doesn't have to be real, your lover or your married person. You guys, you take in them as they resonate, right? You let your friends help you. Let's see. Only a weekly reading, guys. Advice, please. Advice. Thank you. Show the real world you. That's what this is. Defending yourself, your situation. Show the real world you. A lot of us, sometimes we hold ourselves back. 
who we are because we're we're afraid to say something or do something and we don't want to um i don't know tip the scales or make somebody angry or make somebody upset so we hide ourselves sometimes no don't do that defend yourself defend your feelings and because you don't want to cause waves sometimes you're just like i'd rather just not deal with it and walk away no show the real world deal what do you need to release some of you it is an ex some of you this is you know needs to let go and under that nothing is yet set in stone i usually see that in readings when something's not completely 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 over you know because we do have free will a lot of you guys are dealing with this situation with somebody where it's a reconciliation a marriage getting out of something fixing something but it's different for all of you please leave me your comments and i will see you on the next one bye taurus